So I thought I'd buy one of these. A battery portable pulse spot welding machine, which obviously gives the wire wall effect when you use it. So this is going to be dangerous. And what I want to use this for is for making uh, batteries out of these 18650 cells. I've got some other PCBs I did a while back, but I've been uh, slowly building myself up a set of these cells. I'm at the point now where I want to start turning them into a full battery. So you have to weld nickel strips across that, or that's one way of doing it. So I bought one of these to do some spot welding. And this is this is quite nice. This is about £30 from Amazon, and I wasn't expecting it to come in a little box, but I like the little box. So that's good. Um, so that's nice. So, uh, some nickel there. The probe elators to do the welding. We've got USB out. There's the input and a mode and a power button. Let's see what it says. Portable spot welding kit. Okay. So turn off and on. So that says you have to hold that to turn it on. But it's... Oh! I wasn't expecting that to make a noise. Oh, it must have batteries in it. It's got to. Oh, that's annoying because I bought one of these. Um, a power delivery. So I bought a power delivery charger. I've been wanting one of these for ages. Aleppo. Isn't that the guy from Tested? No. All right, well, I'll play with that in a minute. So I'll hold it down for... Turn it on, hold it down, for turn it off, oh, and you can change the power by pushing it. Oh yeah. So make it stronger, so it looks like it goes to four, and that may. Eh? Sort of looks like it's going through binary. Oh well, but that's back at one, right. I want to see what uh, the battery in it is. So I'd rather take it apart before it's fully charged. That's hard going. Wonder if that'll slide out now. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. There's some cells I'm collecting out of the MacBook. Are they? Oh no, a little bit smaller. Alright, it's got two of those cells in it. Oh dear me, and it looks like it's on. I've seen that same thing on this. Because when I was looking at buying this, I was wondering about buying a uh, a kit first. Better not touch that, that's probably quite evil, especially if I've got it turned on. I think the safest thing to do is just put this straight away again. Anyway, let's uh, make it safe. Okay, that's safe again. Let's see if it still works. Yeah. First charge the host, and after the charge is completed, perform welding work. So I think before I use it, I will charge it up. I was, like I said, I was expecting to power it from this, but uh, let's have a look at this. This should just have a USB-C power delivery, and it's uh, just got a single USB-C socket on it. I think you can use this to power a laptop, so 65 watt. So maybe it would work with a MacBook, something like that. So 65 watt there. Aleppo. Let's plug that in. And get the lead here. Ah. That there's out. Isn't Amazon great? Well, let's hope this Clefun cable doesn't explode. It's supposed to be a PD cable. Let's put it in there and see what happens. Doing anything? Don't know. Oh, that's all right then. So if I use uh, just use my normal Samsung phone charger, it charges it okay. So uh, I bought this uh, Frank Aleppo because I didn't realise this had batteries in it. 
I assume that because it was USB-C, it would probably need a power delivery system to um, to power it. But because this has got batteries in itself, it doesn't. And it seems like it doesn't even need a power delivery um, to charge the thing either, let alone power it. Just a standard Samsung charger did it really quickly. So uh, I don't need this, but I did. I did want one of these anyway, so that's fine. I'll use that for some other power supply stuff. Yeah, four dots. So um, fully charged. And after the charge is completed, perform welding work. So I'm going to perform welding work. Excellent. I don't know what I'm going to weld. I don't really want to weld straight onto the batteries to test it. So um, I've got that little tin thing. So let's have a look. It supplied some 0.12. I don't know whether that's good or not, but Probably not. Well, this is sharp. Is this going to go boing and go everywhere? Yes, a little. Tell you what, I only want to do this for testing. Cool, this is going to raise a cut my fingers. Okay, that's slightly got that under control, and I'm just going to try and weld it to there. See what happens. So, what do we do? Right, after installing the spot welding pen, the spot welding pen, right, let's install that. Um, I don't know whether I should let those touch. It feels like that would be a very bad idea to let those touch. This product has sufficient redundancy design, even if the pen short circuit will not damage the circuit, but the short circuit current is high, may affect the battery life. Please try to avoid the pen short circuit when the current output. Bear that in mind, people. I suppose they've got a touch when you do the spot welding. These feel quite substantial, actually. This is the sort of thing where I'm sort of scared holding it in two hands because then it goes straight across the heart. But anyway, make sure the surface of the battery and the nickel sheet is clean. OK. After installing the pen, set the power level to one for the first use and press, press properly. To make the welding pen and the nickel sheet contact the battery well. When the spot welding machine detects that the welding pen is placed, start welding. All right, so let's turn it on to number one. Okay, that's number one. And, hmm, you know what? I'm just going to cut this and just use a little piece of that. Make sure it's clean. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> right, so let's put that on there. That's turned on. And I think all I need to do is zap it. Is this going to make me jump? Probably. Oh. Ha! <laughs> all right, well. Oh, it smells great. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Let's do a close-up of that. Let's try again. At least it waits a little bit. Yeah. It's not bad. Let's um, turn that off. What I want to do is see um, how hard it is to turn, pull this off. All right. I mean, that that is coming off exactly the same way as when you get a battery set and you peel it off. I mean, that one, I've peeled that off that one already. It's about the same on there. So it's not bad, actually. Comes off in the end, but it's gone quite deep into that. And it was definitely holding it. So, yeah. So, yes, this is the BFRC Portable Pulse spot welder it's not really something that you'd use commercially uh, you wouldn't build them day in or day out but for me being a hobbyist and messing about with some batteries and some cells i think this will do